Hi and welcome to video 2 of the decimals video series. This time we're having a look at rounding decimals. Before we start to have a look at rounding decimals, let's just check on one term. Uh, that's the term decimal places. What are decimal places? Well, decimal places are the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. So 0.35, I think you can see, has two digits to the right of the decimal point. So we would say that 0.35 has two decimal places. 0.507 has three digits after the decimal point. So we would say 0.507 has three decimal places. And this next number, 0.6419, has four decimal places and 0.72416 has five decimal places. So it's the number of digits that come after the decimal point. Now what does it mean to be rounding decimals? Well to round a decimal is to cut it shorter to leave the required number of decimal places in our answer. The question will give us the required number of decimal places and it's up to, up to us to cut it shorter, the original decimal shorter, to leave that required number. How do we round a decimal? Okay, it's quite a process here, so listen carefully. We cut the number after the required number of decimal places. Then we have to check the next digit to the right of where we've cut it. And we call that the critical digit, that digit just to the right of where we cut off the decimal. And we, can, we have two choices. If the critical digit is less than 5, we leave the cut number just as it is. If the critical digit, though, is 5 or more, we add 1 to what will be our final digit. So there's a little shortcut uh, way of saying that. 5 or more, raise the score. We'll get the hang of this when we have a look at an example. OK, we've got all our uh, thinking process down in the bottom half of our screen here, so let's have a look at an example. This question is asking us to round to one decimal place. We want to leave our final answer to one decimal place. So we've got 12.83 here. So this number has two decimal places at the moment. So we want to leave one decimal place. We only want to have, in the end, one digit to the right of the decimal point. So step one, we cut the number after the required number of decimal places. You can see there that I've put a red line to cut the number so that it only has one decimal place. Now the next thing is to check that critical digit after the cut. Now that critical digit in this case is less than 5, so we leave the cut number just as it is. So my final answer there, I'm not going to touch that 1, 2 or the 8, and I'm just going to write down that that one is uh, the, the rounding of 12.83 to one decimal place is just 12.8. I haven't changed much at all except for chopping off the 3 at the end. OK, so that critical digit is a 3, so I didn't have to change that cut number at all. Now, I have uh, cut this number up, and what I've done is approximate that number. So that symbol here is called approximately equal. I've added a couple of extra dots there. That's approximately equal. So I'm saying 12.8 is approximately equal to 12... Uh, Sorry, 12.83 is approximately equal to 12.8. And I, just afterwards, to show the markers what I've done, I put in brackets to 1 dp, or one to 1 decimal place. dp is OK for a shortcut there. Because I'm saying there that 12.8 is an approximation of the original number. Let's have a look at another example, 6.274. Now I'm asked to round that to one decimal place, so I'm going to cut it just after the two. So my next, my critical digit is the next one after it. In this case, it's a seven. Now that seven is five or more, so I add one to my final digit. The final digit is going to be, was going to be the two, but I'm going to add one to that and write down as my final answer 6.3. So why did I add one to the uh, the final digit there? Because that critical digit seven was five or more. And once again, I have to acknowledge that it's an approximation and it's rounded off to one decimal place. It's very good to write that in on your answers in a test because the marker knows exactly what you've done there. Let's have a look at another couple of rounding examples. This time we're asked to round to two decimal places. So I'm going to cut it after two decimal places. 
I think you can see the critical digit is the next one after there. In this case, it's a 2. So that's uh, less than 5. So I'm able to leave the cut number just as it is and just write down 4.78. I haven't raised the score there because uh, that critical number wasn't 5 or more. Once again, I'll call it an approximation and I'll say this time I've rounded it off to, de to two decimal places by just writing that in the brackets there. 12.3999. I want to chop it after two decimal places. The critical digit this time is a 9, and I think you see that uh, that's more than 5, so we're going to have to add 1 to the final digit. Now, an interesting thing happens here the final two digits are 39, really, and if I add 1 to that, I'll end up with 40 in my answer. It is really important to put that extra 0 in there because we want the final number to be to two decimal places. So that zero is important at the end there. Once again, it's an approximation once I've rounded it off and I uh, indicate that I've rounded it off to two decimal places by saying that in the brackets just at the end there. Now that's rounding off to one decimal place and two decimal places. Sometimes I'm asked to round off to the nearest whole number. So I will chop after the required numbers. I want to be left with a whole number there, so I'll put the cut there just after the 7. I'll check the next critical digit. In this case it's less than 5, so I'm going to leave the cut number just as it is. So 17.452 rounded off to the nearest whole number is just 17. I'll acknowledge that by putting an approximately equal symbol in and writing that I've rounded off to the nearest whole number. So no raising of the score there. But here, if I chop this after the whole numbers, my critical digit is an 8, which is 5 or more. So I will add 1 to the final digit. In this case, the final digit is my 6. So when I add 1 to that, I will end up with 7. And just do my tidying up there to show that I've um, rounded that off to the nearest whole number. So sometimes we leave the cut number as it is if the critical digit is less than 5. Or sometimes we raise that final digit by 1 because the critical digit is 5 or more. So how do we round a decimal? We cut the number after the required number of decimal places. We check the next digit to the right of the cut and if that critical digit is less than 5 we leave the number as it is. If the critical digit is 5 or more we add 1 to that final digit. We say that's rounding up and uh, the, quick, uh, the quick saying is five or more, raise the score. Quite a process there, so I hope you get plenty of practice at that one. And uh, see you next time on the third video of the decimals video series. See you next time.